Hey guys, this is Ryan. In today's video, we're gonna be covering the Google AdWords keyword planning tool. This tool is helpful for performing keyword research to come up with different keyword ideas for both an SEO or PPC campaign. And it's also gonna give you estimated search volumes for each one of these keywords, as well as cost per clicks. So without further ado, let's jump in. I'm gonna show you how to use this tool. It's gonna to be a complete tutorial and uh, give you some ideas on how to set up a campaign. In order to use the Google Ads keyword planning tool, you're gonna to have to be in the normal version of AdWords. If you're in Express right now, you'll have to switch it over to expert mode. I made a video on this, so check it out if you need to do that. But for now, let's assume you're in a normal dashboard. You can click this wrench up here and then go to keyword planner. You're gonna get two different options. The first one's gonna help you to discover new keywords that people are searching in your local area around your services. And the second one is gonna help you to plan out a Google AdWords campaign and get estimations for search volumes, cost per clicks, as well as click-through rate. This is the one we're gonna use. Then you'll have two different options. You can start with manual keywords, so you can just enter some root keywords describing your service, or you can start with a website. Note that this website does need to have some traffic coming to it so that Google uses that data to spit out some relevant keywords. It can be your own website or it can be a competitor's website. But for the sake of this video, I like manual the best, so I'm just gonna use manual for now. You can start with 10 initial phrases to give the system. Let's assume that we're doing this for a general dentist office. I'm just gonna copy and paste some in here that I have in mind. Uh, dentist near me, cosmetic dentist. I just use different phrases to give the system some idea about what we're looking for. And then I'll include brand names because if you're running Google AdWords, you might use brand searches as negative keywords because you don't want to bid on those. So let's get results. And what Google AdWords is going to do is spit out relevant searches based on the initial phrases you gave it. You can see all those down here. The other thing to note is that if you are not currently running ads, you're going to see a range here instead of these specific numbers. Uh, if you have a range and want to see the precise estimations, what you can do is set up a campaign, set it to $1 a day. Don't put keywords or ads in it so it's not actually going to show to anyone. You won't spend any money, but the system will see that you're actually spending money on ads and you'll get precise estimations here. Also note that these are gonna be the world totals of searches, so around the entire world with Google, and this is gonna be your local totals. And local can be changed up here. By default, it's gonna be on the entire United States, but you can change this to a specific city, town, county, zip code even. So let's just start with Boston, Mass. And click Save. And you're gonna see these numbers change down here. What you can also do is click the top of this column and it's gonna filter by most to least. I like doing that just to prioritize the high volume keywords. The other thing to note is that these keyword search volume estimations are pretty inaccurate at a local level. That's what I've found at least. Uh, sometimes they'll read 880 searches per month estimated, but when you actually add this to a campaign, so this is gonna be a mock campaign. I'll show you how to use this tool in a second, but uh, if you jump over here, this is gonna give you like the actual predictions for your campaign for clicks and impressions. Right now, our bid is really low on this keyword, but if we increase that bid to like $4.20, then you can, you can see the impressions increase to around 3,000 per, per month estimated. Um, and that's for next month. So you can see the huge difference between this tool and then this tool right here. For the most part, I don't use this keyword tool for its estimations on volume. I use the forecaster for that. But what I use this tool for is different ideas for keywords that are being searched, as well as groupings. But before talking about groupings, I also wanna talk about the accuracy of CPC, which tends to be not as accurate as well. So I would take that with a grain of salt. Just use the forecasting tool as I showed you before, as well as the top of page bid, low range and high range. This is just gonna give you a low range of how much it's gonna cost you per click to bid on like the top positions of Google. But take that with a grain of salt as well. As well as competition, this is just showing you low, medium or high, how many uh, people are actually bidding on that keyword in this area. Uh, but once again, take it with a grain of salt. Um, the other thing to note is up here, you can actually see that this data is based off of last month's information. So you, it could be the case where last month was a lull in the industry that you're researching. So in that case, your numbers are gonna show like lower than expected. Um, what you can do is change this to like all available data. So you can say, 
Google show me estimations based off of all the data you've ever collected on these keywords. And what's nice about this is you can see trends in the different search volumes. And it will also show you the difference between mobile as well as desktop. Uh, just a side note, if you find industries or keywords that have really high mobile uh, versus desktop searches, then they may be good uh, indications that that industry would be good for click to call or call only ads, uh, especially if they have like high urgency behind them like towing. Um, but anyways, I'll switch into this so I can see trends as well. And even further down here, you can see trends over time for each keyword. Just hovering over them is going to show you all that information. But another thing that you can do with this tool is click over to grouped ideas. And I really like this section because this section is going to show you uh, some ideas about how to set up ad groups in a campaign or even how to set up pages on your website to structure a website properly for SEO. Now, you're not necessarily going to use all of these for ad groups or every single one. But what's nice about this tool is that it's going to organize all these keywords into different uh, categories. So dentistry for children. This is going to show you all keywords relevant to that. And what you can do is click all of these and you can say add keywords. You can add them to a campaign like a mock campaign as we did before as a different match type. So broad, phrase or exact. And then you can add to the existing ad group that it's already in or you can create a new ad group and name it yourself. Uh, let's just add these as that ad group as broad. And then what's nice about this is that you can literally build out a campaign in this without having to uh, run it yourself and then look at the predictions for that campaign when it comes to impressions and clicks, click through rates, average CPCs, etc. Um, and I talk about this in a different video as well, but I'll just cover it again here. Um, as you can see, all oh, you got your keywords down here. So these are all your keywords. Root Canal, I think that I already had that in there. Let's just delete it for now. Your ad groups. You can see we have one ad group. This is just a, a default one. I'll delete that for now just to make it clean. We have dentistry for children. So let's just add a few more ad groups. I, I kind of want to show you guys like the power of this. So I'll jump down dentistry for children. There's actually other related things as well. So like pediatric dental care. You probably don't need another ad group for these or a different page. These would all be on the same page of your website. Um, emergency might not. So that might be in a different one. But either way, I'll click that and pediatric dental care. What we'll do is we'll add it to the existing one. So we can just add it to that one. It doesn't need to be in a different ad group. This is all just for organizational purposes and this will help you to plan an SEO campaign as well as Google Ads campaign. Uh, now we jump back to ad groups. As you can see, we still got one here and we got our keywords all listed down here. You can set a uh, predicted conversion rate. So you can say my conversion rate's probably around 10%. If you look at your existing uh, metrics on the website, if you're tracking uh, goal completions in analytics, you'll see this data. If not, you're just gonna have to make some estimations. Let's just say 10%. And what's nice about this is it's gonna give you estimations for how many conversions you'll get, how, many, uh, how much it's gonna cost per conversion. And then you can change this. Uh, it doesn't look like we have enough data right now, so let me just jump over to keyword ideas, throw some more high volume keywords in here, just so we, I can show you how this works. Uh, we'll just add these in, not in an ad group. And I want to show you this graph here so you can see where diminishing returns kick in with your campaign based off of your cost per click, your max CPC that you're willing to bid on these keywords. And you can see the data down here, like what is pulling in clicks, what's getting the most impressions, how much the cost is allocated. Um, and you can set it across the entire thing or you can set individual keyword bids here. So you can even say like, 7.2 or something. You can change these keywords based off of their value for your company. Uh, and you can see how that changes all these metrics here. So it's a really useful tool. Uh, for the most part though, how I would suggest using this is if you're trying to plan out a Google AdWords campaign or SEO campaign, come to this tool, plug in your initial keyword values, go to grouped ideas, and then um, just go here and then add in your group ideas to your mock campaign. Just go around here, just figure out, okay, like these are the general groupings of these words. I'm gonna add these into groups here. And then you come here to these groups, or actually we'll go keywords. And then what I normally do is download this. You can download it as a CSV. And then I'll put this in a Google Sheets because you can manipulate it a little bit easier and then you can create the structure of your website or your account. 
Um, you can set up your ad groups or your pages, and then you can also put the keywords with their different match types under those ad groups. Um, but yeah, I love this tool, it's very useful. Um, once again, don't take the search volumes too literally on the keyword page right here. Um, or the CPCs in that fact, really just use this tool for figuring out the different keywords that you wanna target in your campaigns and then also grouping those using this grouping tool, which helps you categorize them in the first place. Um, if you wanna figure out precise estimations, just go to the plan overview or the keyword section or ad groups right here, and then you can actually get projections for your Google AdWords campaign. Uh, and then very lastly, you can actually add multiple different locations. If you come here, let's say you also want to target Somerville, Waltham, and Newton. You can plug those in here and get more data for that. Hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if it was helpful, if you have any questions, any comments, etc. cetera. Uh, look in the description below if you want to get a link to my website. Click the like button if you found this valuable. Also click subscribe if you want more videos around Google AdWords. And until next time, guys. Cheers.